What's up guys, it's your boy Piaget here and today I will be reviewing why, what's the problem with Neymar Jr. Is it him, is it coach, is it the team, is it PSG, is it Messi joining Paris Saint Germain? We will go through everything in detail but before we start the video make sure to like this video at the end if you thought it was a good video. Make sure to subscribe, we just hit 500 subs, I'm so happy and grateful to everyone who subbed and have watched my videos even if you haven't subbed you're always welcome to sub but yeah i just want to mention that thank you everyone for 500 subscribers but let's get straight into this so neymar uh, as we all know has been injured now and will be back in the middle of january and we, we have to talk about his form this season and this past year ever since pochettino joined so the only like a really great performance is against a good team from neymar I would say for Paris Saint-Germain this season, I would say would be both legs against Bayern München and maybe the first half against City. Apart from that, he hasn't been great, especially in League One. He has been good in Champions League, but in League One, it's it's a so-called worse league than all the other. But he's struggling in this league as well as Messi, and uh, the reason behind it it's 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 many it's many factors. It's many factors, but we just have to talk about this game because this game it showed that Neymar hasn't slacked off. He hasn't become worse or anything. It's something. Something's the problem because he's still amazing. What he did to that Bayern team that most people like, yeah, they didn't have Lewandowski, but he was never going to dribble past Lewandowski or anything. So, and what he did to that Bayern team, the one of the f so called favorites for the Champions League, he played with them. He toyed with them. Unlucky for him, he didn't score a goal, but he hit the crossbar, he hit the post. I mean, he was amazing that game. Bayern couldn't stop him. But let's continue on. So, these are his heat maps. So, on the left, you have uh, last season. And on the right, you have... Uh, no, on the left, you have this season. On the right, you have last season. And in both heat maps, he has that left side. That left side is his. But... He isn't that much in the middle and if you look closely look at inside the box last season he was much more inside the box than this season what's the problem for that because Neymar is of course at his deadliest at his most dangerous when he's inside when he's close to the goal we can where he can actually contribute to the team instead of being on the left wing dribble pass one player he doesn't affect the team that much yeah he can dribble pass players but i want him inside or at least close to the box and <coughs> from the heat maps you can clearly see that's the big difference this season he's not that much in the middle but i, I can understand that with messi and, uh, and all of that but he needs to move forward these are his stats from last season compared to this season i remember he wasn't that good even last season but he had 4.8 dribbles this season 3.7 he had 3.9 shots per game. This season he has 2. And key passes he had 3.4. And now it's 2.3. Of course, with Messi joining, Messi does a bit of the stuff as well. The dribbling, the shots, the key passes. But he, Messi hasn't flourished. He hasn't like taken 7 shots and, and not letting Neymar do anything. But we can see that his stats have stagnated. Even from last season's not so perfect season for Neymar Jr. So last season played 18 games and this is only League One. 18 games, nine goals, but five of them being penalties. So four non-penalty goals and five assists in 18 games playing for the number one team. Yes, we didn't win the league, but we have the most quality and it's not that good. It's not that good. And I expect much more from Neymar Jr. because ever since he was a Barca, I, I thought he was a really extremely good player and when he joined Paris which I had so high expectations and uh, I'm not mad or something I just uh, w I, I want the problem to be resolved as soon as possible because Neymar Jr. at his day last season for me he was the best player in the world especially in that buying game he, sh he just he's just so good but he needs to keep that consistently but if you look at his Brazil so he has 15 games this is Copa America and the World Cup uh, qualifiers so he has in 15 games, he has 9 goals, 4 penalty goals, but 11 assists. Of course, in Brazil, he does all the work. But but even last season, he did pretty much all the work with Pirati out a lot and uh, no messing the team. 
and still he, he didn't have these stats. I mean, his stats for the Brazil national team in less games is better than his stats uh, in League One for Paris Saint-Germain last season, and he played against tougher oppositions with the Brazil team. So what's the, the problem? Because Tite, ha, t Tete, or what's his name, he has actually found Neymar, and he knows what Neymar is good at, and he, he, he makes a team like built around him or at least takes out his his best attributes and makes them use them his dribbling his pace his his passing his slickness his shooting his his aura but Pochettino hasn't done that and that's a big problem this is his heat map for Brazil as you can see a little bit in the box but it's very similar to how he has played for Paris Saint-Germain this season but with no output at all Right now, he has only registered, I believe, four goals and two assists, which isn't the worst, but it's Neymar Jr., come on. So, I'm looking at Pochettino, because as we just saw, Neymar, the season even before Pochettino joined, was the Champions League season, and we saw how great he was in the knockout stages against Leipzig, against Atalanta, against Dortmund uh, at home. So, Tuchel could play Neymar very well, even before he got... Uh, kicked we saw the united game Neymar two goals away at old trafford and tite has actually improved Neymar in brazil so the only logical solution is pochettino that he's using him wrong that he's building the team wrongly and uh, for me the biggest problem with pochettino right now he's not understanding that the Neymar and Messi that used to play at Barcelona are two different players than the Messi that joined PSG this season and the Neymar he has developed at PSG ever since he joined us. So Neymar has become more like a Messi type. A lot of key passes, as we saw, 3.8, maybe his highest at PSG, maybe four or five key passes per game. That's a really high number, but he has involved at Barcelona. He was uh, maybe uh, he dribbled sometimes, but he was often close to the box and finishes because Messi had that key pass he had, plus they had Xavi and he has a great midfield but Messi did that job and po what Pochettino not realizing now is that Messi and Neymar both do the same job but only one of them can do it or if it doesn't maybe both can play in that 10 role but he has to play it for them we saw with Griezmann and Coutinho didn't work out Barcelona because Messi plays there and you can't have, you can't have two players so Pochettino needs to realize that and my solution is of course playing a three at the back i mean this is common sense i, I know every Paris Saint Germain fan wants this but playing messi in the cam and neymar at top or uh messi at the uh, at, at top and neymar at cam i would say neymar at top with kylian mbappe plus neymar has had to do a lot of defensive work and running this season but Playing a three at the back, Nuno Mendes can cover the whole left side. We know he has great stamina, great sprint, great aggression. Neymar can stay up and be more dangerous and clinical in front of goal. So this is my solution that Pochettino needs either to try to fit them both in the 10 role, him and Lionel Messi, or move one of them to the top and tell them concentrate on scoring goals, not that much of creating chances. I mean, Neymar can still create chances up there, but less chances and let Messi do that work maybe because we saw them when they click together like the goal versus City like the offside goal versus uh, Santitia Messi and Neymar have that connection but Pochettino needs to find the perfect chemistry so Neymar right now is rehabilitating and wanting to come back to Paris Saint-Germain as soon as possible saying so many messages that yes you will go down but he wants to come back even stronger even better and I really believe this in Neymar. I think this is turning point in his page, uh, in his life, in the season, because he really needs to improve and uh, maybe until the World Cup and the Champions League this season. So I believe in Neymar, and I hope everyone believes in Neymar. I will. I want the comment section filled with love for Neymar Jr. because he's an incredible player, and right now he needs our full support, Parisians and Neymar lovers, Brazilian fans. I mean, there's, there's no reason to disrespect this guy because he's actually trying to 
make us enjoy football with his dribbling, with his skills, with his goals, with his, with his flair. So don't disrespect him and call him a diver and, and injury and all of this because it's, it's so rude and disrespectful. But that's me. I hope I've answered the question, what's wrong with Neymar Jr. at Paris Saint-Germain this season and this year. And I hope Neymar really improves and fires PSG to the Champions League triumph. Other than that, guys, make sure to have a nice day. Bye-bye. Peace. Allez, Paris. Allez, Paris.